Ladies and gentlemen, this is the truth. I have a great deal of respect and admiration for China, its country, its history, its place in the world, its, its immense contribution to world history. And nothing I say within this segment is meant to be taken as, you know, any type of disdain or contempt. If anything, I blame a specific political party in this country, but that's, I'll get to that a little later. There's nothing, or I blame certain politicians within this country for not pursuing a very plausible and rational theory pertaining to how all of this started, this global catastrophe. So that's number one. Number two, I'm abiding by YouTube policies. I'm simply reporting from the House Foreign Affairs Committee report that was released yesterday. I'll give you the link. The link will be below. In the description section, it'll be either within the Hill article or the actual link to the investigation. That being said, this is a very important segment. So if there's a human reviewer, I'm literally reading from a government report. My God Almighty, I'm reading from a government report. Okay? The report is very interesting because it talks about how a communist country... Because this is a communist country. The Communist Party in the most populous country in the world does not allow freedom of speech. We're heading towards that <laughs> scenario. But you look at this report and you can read it yourself. Satellite images prove many elements of what Trump was saying to be correct. Satellite images of the city in September and October of 2019 that showed a significant uptick in the number of people in facilities surrounding the headquarters coupled with an unusually high number of people seeking care for an ailment which is, you know, you know what. You have satellite images that show activity right before all of this broke. You have the installation of military expert at the head of one um, department in that facility in question. <laughs> so, so you have one top military uh, expert in charge of a specific type of weapon system. <laughs> you can read this for yourself. This is like unbelievable. You couldn't write fiction in this manner. Now, the rebuttal is, well, it's all fiction. They're just making it up. There have been courageous, noble, heroic Chinese scientists who have risked everything, who have risked everything to... Give people the truth. There's also, I'll, I'll send you also the link below in the description. By the way, hit subscribe to this channel. To my super thanks. If you want to support this segment, ladies and gentlemen, and if you want to support my work, the super thanks is below. I'll give you a shout out next segment. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee or support the channel, uh, in, in a greater way. The super thanks is below. It's right next to the share and the like buttons just scroll just right below the video. There's the like, the share button, scroll to the right, I believe. And you'll see the super thanks. It's like super chat for the uploads. If you enjoy this segment, especially these types of segments I'm going to try to do more often. If you enjoy these types of segments, since I'm swimming up, upstream and it's difficult to navigate the waters, ladies and gentlemen, your support is greatly appreciated. So to my super thanks on this segment, I'll thank you next segment. 
Uh, I will have a live stream later tonight at around 9 p.m. Pacific. Freedom of expression in the largest country in the world, a privilege, not a right. The authorities recognizing in recent years that limited freedom of expression enables the government to better monitor potential problematic social issues have begun to tolerate criticism, but only from certain categories of people, a kind of, quote, free speech elite, and only then in government-controlled forums. This is going to be below in the description uh, section. So when Dr. Falsi says... Well, these are our colleagues, we're not talking about the military, we're not talking about the government. People have to risk their lives. There are scientists who have risked their lives telling the truth, trying to tell the truth about what happened. There was a covering up of basic facts in the beginning of all of this. That is not up for debate. There is a covering up of basic facts. And how they covered up everything was simply by government authorities within the Communist Party telling American authorities whatever it is that benefited their party. So it wasn't difficult. And if you look at the actual, um, if you look at the actual report from the Republican, from the Republicans uh, in Congress, lead Republican Michael T. McCall, who's awesome, you can see that it was a whole bunch of, there's a whole bunch of evidence here from satellite images to To, I mean, we, you, can, you can actually, this corroborates the work of very, very courageous scientists. You can look at this insider, Business Insider article, at least five people in China have disappeared, gotten arrested, or been silenced after speaking out about, um, you know what, and very, very heroic doctor who lost his life, another female scientist who was missing for a time. So it's like, you you risk your life telling the truth. In this country, you don't risk your life, you risk your reputation. (laughs) That's a little bit different. You can risk your livelihood, actually. So in a way, you're risking your life, but not really, Not, not, not to the extent as it is in that country. So, so there was, the, 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 the control of information, okay, that's the issue. You can't go ahead, you can't go ahead and simply say that, well, you know, we trust our colleagues, we trust our colleagues because, um, uh, if Dr. Falsi says, we trust our colleagues, and this is, you know, we don't want to antagonize that government, well, there are satellite photos, there's a waste management system that needed replacing, which is very bizarre after two years. So, and the waste management system, hazarded waste treatment system, <laughs> which was well over a million and a half dollars or over a million and a half dollars needed replacing in a relatively short time period. Again, Trump is not proven right about this. If they had put, see, this is the genius or this is the logic of Donald Trump and Trump Republicans that are that is completely ignored by a great many apoplectic, morally superior liberal Democrats. They obsessed with every fiber of their being in trying to prove that Trump was a Russian operative. This was absurd. They then did, they then utilized the same energy to ignore the possible origins of this global catastrophe. Read the, read the government report, the GOP uh, congressional report, it's below, 
House Foreign Affairs Committee. You will find it's at lead Republican Michael T. McCall, who's heroic in this day and age. The truth exonerates, vindicates, and bolsters everything that Trump, Rand Paul, and Ron Johnson have been saying. It also undermines everything Democrats have been saying for a million different reasons. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. This is a very important segment, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very important segment.